Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation and blessings to the whole four elect scattered throughout the four winds that believe wholeheartedly in this true doctrine. All right, and who are in hope of mercy and salvation <clears throat> during the time of Jacob's trouble, as well as when Yahweh Shai returns to the planet Earth. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to entitle this video, um, Babylon is done, something to that effect. Uh, California is, is, is finished. You know, just something to that effect. And, and it's finished because of the immoral and the lewdness that goes on in this place, all right? Now, this is uh, California, all right? A, a law that's <clears throat> been passed uh, in the California, California Senate, all right? SB 1414, which is uh, solicitation of a minor, all right? And, um, you know, this has been going on for the longest. And you have this uh, Republican woman, I mean, I'm sorry, Democratic woman, who's been a part of the party here in California for 12 years. Not this woman, but the, the next woman that's going to come to the podium. Um, and she basically uh, bowed out. Cause she's she 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 basically says she's tired of turning a a blind eye to uh, minor women being trafficked and sold, okay? And this is this is lewdness, this is immoral, and this is uh, one of the reasons Yahweh Shimi Shah is bringing this place down and will destroy it, okay? Now, I'm going to read this little caption right here. Now, this video, Escaping the Blade, this is a documentary. I'm going to uh, play like the first three minutes of that so you can see basically. Um, because all of these um, different uh, uh, women that came up, these different, <clears throat> I don't know if they were all, uh, you know, uh, senators or uh, uh but a lot of them really majority of them that came up to the podium uh mentioned this this documentary okay now let's read this a little bit it says the california state senate voted unanimous unanimously for sb 1414 authored by senator shannon grove republican in bakersfield a bill to increase penalties on those soliciting minors under 15 years under 15 years old for sex the bill was watered down in the public safety committee against Grove's strong opposition listen to her explain what happened in the testimony above and to the other legislators republican and democrat expressing their support for this bill okay now, we're going to go to this first, and then I'm going to show you the lady that says she's done with it. She's done. All right? And America's done. Okay? America's finished. Now, Sacramento is the capital of California. You know, most people don't, don't know that. All right? The capital of California is not Los Angeles. It's not San Diego. It's not uh, San Francisco. Right, even though those are uh, three big uh, uh, states, see, California's all around wicked. This is a wicked ass place over here, man. This is a, uh, you know, you got a lot of warlocks and witches out here, man. High level wickedness here, and you got Hollywood, okay. You know, you got a uh, uh, a lot of the people that so called make it. They come from different parts of the U.S., and even from across the pond, over across the uh, Atlantic, you know, they come over here and they star in movies, and they, they the, the main places they live is New York and California, right? 
So this is this 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 is a a, a major hub of wickedness that uh, pushes off on on the rest of the states. Uh, for for example, um, the gang culture. All right, that was something that the uh, rest of the states, as far as I'm talking about gang banging, red and blue rags. You know what I'm saying? That was something that was pushed on the, the rest of the uh, states by design, by Esau Edom with his uh, his magic wand, which is the television, going back to the late 80s when Colors came out, okay? And that was a, a movie that, that was, uh, that was uh, should I say, uh, stigmata. It was imprinted, all right? It was... Uh, 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 chiseled into the minds of so-called black and brown communities throughout America, especially here in California. When, when, because it was already going on, but when the movie Colors came out, um, that's when it blew, uh, blew up throughout all, or that was the beginning of it, uh, stretching forth throughout all of Babylon. Okay. So this place is a hub of wickedness, and you know, by by the way, this woman. When we go back to the other video, I know I'm you know uh, ranting on a little bit, but um, when we go back to the other video, you will see she's she's totally fed up, and she's been seeing it for twelve years. All right, and they know about it. Okay, this is why they've made uh, sex work legal here in in California. All right, go on YouTube and type in Figueroa Street. All right, um, San Bernardino Streetwalkers. You know what I'm saying? San Diego. Just type it in on YouTube and you'll see. And the police don't do nothing because it's legal here. And this is a form of lewdness. Okay. So let me play this. You know, I don't want to keep rambling on. Let me play this a little bit real quick. Your only option is that or to go do what you're supposed to do. California is a hotbed for human trafficking. It's frustrating for all of us in the Criminal Justice Center, for me, for law enforcement that works very hard on these cases but it's most frustrating for the victims. Right now, what we're doing is not working and young girls are being impacted. Thanks for everybody for coming. Um, this was kind of a quick one that we threw together. We're gonna be focusing on the Stockton Boulevard corridor today. Our goal today is kind of max enforcement. It's a growing crime. Imagine a McDonald's drive-thru. And that's what this parking lot was. It would be bumper to bumper traffic. And it's happening right in front of your eyes. It's a different world, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, most people don't even notice. I wasn't fully aware of what was going on right in front of my face. Women and girls sold for sex. Dropped off by a vehicle. She got out. She's in. And if you know anything about California, up north, you know, that's where you got... Uh, you got, uh, you know, prominent pimps have come from uh, Northern California, whore mongers. You know, if you, most, most cats from the Bay, you know what I'm saying, they got that pimp type swag. I went to school with a dude here, and he had got a, uh, he had went to play football up North, and he came back a full-blown pimp. That's how contagious it was. He came back a full-blown pimp, still to this day. Okay. See-through uh, fishnets, 19. I was 13 when I was 12, 18. You might think that they're working alone, but they're actually being watched. I couldn't come home unless I had $1,000 that night. They're captors. They think that the local law enforcement is a joke. The laws do not work. The only person the law benefits is a trafficker. Hey, hey stay in your car. car. Show your there you have it. The laws don't work. So they've been knowing that this 
this is going on. And then they'll tell them, you know, if they do catch somebody, they just give them a, a small misdemeanor, got to pay a fine, and they're back on the street. So I ain't going to play no more of this. I just wanted to play that just a little bit. Well, let me see. I think it's a little more. Yeah. Simply walking free. The law has no teeth. Sacramento was a hub for sex trafficking. 47 in Stockton. Stockton Boulevard right here. The, the capital of California is a hub for sex trafficking. All right? And they do, they traffic uh, all the way down from San Diego all the way up to Sacramento. All right? And then when you get past, you know, Sacramento, Stockton, you're really in the forest. You know what I'm saying? In small little towns until you, you know, reach uh, uh, Oregon and all that, man. All right? But a hub for, for trafficking. All right? And if they trafficking, you know, they doing all other things. I'm talking, we, uh, you heard them. I was 12. I was 13. I was 14. You know? <clears throat> and Esau's laws... Uh, prohibited. He allowed it. Okay? And this is the most high exposing him. Alright? Why? He's getting ready to uh, destroy his whole system. Alright? Because of the lewdness. He got dropped off at the blade. Blade? The blade. You literally have to run. And if you have a problem with law enforcement, then who the hell is going to help you? Oh yeah. So, you know, I just wanted to play that a little quick. And they show Edomite women, you know, because the Israelite woman, for, for the most part, she's ashamed of that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? She's ashamed of that. But a lot of a lot of the Israelite women, all right, and this woman here on this video, she's going she's gonna to mention that the, the most of them are uh, black and brown, uh, uh, are, 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 are people, okay? So the Lord ain't got the Lord. The Lord is is very much so um, justified in what He's getting ready to do to this place. All right, He's given ample time. All right, but the iniquity of Babylon is at its full. Matter of fact, let me let me show you that in Genesis the fifteenth chapter. Just as the Amorites, all right, the the, the heavenly Father. Uh, <clears throat> said that uh, the, the iniquity of the Amorites wasn't yet full. So when they when their iniquity got to the full, this is when he uh, sent us in there, all right, in the ancient world to uh, wipe them out, okay? But during the time of Abraham, it wasn't that Abram, all right, it wasn't that time yet, all right? But the fourth generation, it said, as it says, uh, Genesis 15 and 16, it says, But in the fourth generation they shall come hither again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. All right? So what justified us to go in there and, and, and take over the land of Canaan was the uh, iniquity that they that they had been committing and uh because the Amorites was uh, son of Canaan, all right? So when their iniquity had came to a full, that's when we were able to go in there and take that land, all right? Which was all the plan of Yahweh by Shimei Awashah. So America's iniquity is just about at full, all right? It's no different. The Most High's mind is, is the same. Why do you think he allowed all this to go on for so long? Right, as it tells us in uh, uh, Second Peter, real quick, and then we'll go to the uh, the video. Second Peter three, okay. Second Peter three and eight. It says, "But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness." But is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, all of the elect. All right. So the Most High allowed this man to build up this tab, set up this wicked ass kingdom, set up laws to keep us 
breaking the heavenly father's laws. Okay. But now we have awoken them. We, we calling these things out. Okay. Which is a part of that all should come to repentance. Now that we we're all waking up. Um, when I say all, I'm talking about, uh, the hopeful members of the elect. And we, re we, we're repenting to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now we're seeing that this man's iniquity is just about at its full. All right. It's just about at its full. It's not there yet because all hell ain't broke loose. But when all hell broke loose, that's when you know the Most High has had enough. All right? And not only will he destroy Esau, Edom, but he's going to destroy two-thirds of our own people, all right, who didn't repent, who don't repent, okay? So let's go back to this. Uh, let's go to this uh, video here, okay? Now, the woman that's getting ready to come to the podium, she's going to mention uh, the, the so-called black and brown women, all right? Sister. They're the same age. I urge and I vote, please. Thank you, Senator. Senator Eggman. And there's, there's a bunch of women, all right, that... Uh, you know, they saying they peace on what's going on in the capital of Cali, uh, California, or Khalifa. Uh, thank you, Mr. President and uh, members. Um, I'd like to say, as a as a progressive, proud member of this body for the last twelve years, I'm done. I'm done with us protecting people who would buy and abuse our children. I'm done. So they, they buy and, and abuse them, the children, all right? And they protect these same people by not passing laws, all right, to uh, lock these people up, you know, when they, they, they find them trafficking and this, that, and the third, okay? It's over, man. The, 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 when it's to this point to where the people on the inside that know what's going on, they see the numbers and they just say, you know what, it's nothing I can do. I'm trying to do the right thing, but it's too many wicked mother effers up in here. All right. That's turning that's uh uh turning the blind eye to it. Okay. We'll show you how corrupt. This society is. This ain't a, a society of uh, righteous uh, people who are who are making laws and that care truly about the city. Man, this place is wicked. Okay. I don't want to send more black and brown men to prison. I don't want more people in prison. But I don't want people buying girls. I don't want people buying little girls anymore. And I'm tired of saying it's okay, and that we have to protect the men who do it. As a mental health professional and as a social worker, I can tell you I've spent... And a lot of these men that do it are high officials, all right? Uh, it's been it's been crazy amounts of uh, these, uh, even army generals, retired, uh, you know, senators and things of that nature. They catching them. You got uh, people setting up their own stings and catching these people trying to meet up with 12, 13, 14-year-old uh, uh, girls to freak off on them. We talking about men that's well off, in, well off into their 60s and 70s, all right? But they'll lock you up as an 18, 19-year-old uh, young man for having uh, sexual relations with a 17-year-old young woman. You know, y'all went to school together. You you may have graduated a year earlier than her. Okay, she's still in high school. You're considered an adult at 18, all right? And you were dealing with her in high school, but if they find out, they'll lock you up for what they call statutory rape. And that only happens with Jake, man. Okay? I, and the reason I know that's true, I went to school uh, uh, one of, uh, back in high school they came and took my bro from the, the police came in the classroom and, and took him to jail. Okay. 
because he was he he had just turned eighteen and he was dealing with I think she was sixteen, but she was she was already dealing, okay. And they tried to get him on the the the, the whole grape because her father found out, but it had came out that he you know was in her closet the whole night, so the only thing the judge could do was get him with statutory, okay. So. These laws are specifically to protect the higher-ups, man. It ain't, it ain't to protect the average Jake, all right? You get caught with a, a, a minor and you ain't you ain't nobody, you going, you take, they, you going under the jail. But these top officials that are constantly being caught, they not doing no jail time, okay? Entire career working with people who have been wounded. I'm not going to say beyond repair, but they have been wounded to their core by the abuse that's been heaped on them, oftentimes by those that they love and look to protect them. And if their parents won't do it, then by God, we should. Again, I am not arguing that we open the gates to flood our prisons with people, but I am arguing that we have a moral responsibility to say enough. Enough. And that's the thing. Uh, there is no morale. The morale is gone. All right? It's done. There is no morale here in, 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 in Babylon, period. All right? The only morale is for repentance, for you to repent back to our, our power, Yahweh, through the belief of his son, Yahweh Shah. This is where you gain your morale back, by truly, sincerely repenting out of the sincereness of your heart, man. With your heart is your mind, all right? Have that godly sorrow about you, okay? We have given away enough on this area, and we've got to move back into the center, or we all look like fools and laughing stocks. And what do we stand for? I ask all of you to watch the documentary that Senator uh, Grove was in, Senator from Kern County was just in, that talked about this very place in Sacramento, where girls are being bought and sold. Men are being given a little slap in the hand or a couple of days, and then they're back out again, and they do the same thing. They get caught over and over and over again, and somehow that's okay. It's not okay. It is not okay anymore, and no, no more am I watching. Like I said, I'm leaving, but the rest of you who are going to be here for a while, let's get our stuff together and really start focusing on some of the important things. We talk about learning, and we talk about being safe. This is like at the core of it. And a lot of these kids can't be throwaway kids. They're poor kids. They're kids of color. But they shouldn't have to live a life determined by what happens to them by others at a very young age and by how the Democratic Party of California say it's okay. It's not okay. And I'm not doing it anymore, and I hope none of you do too. We have to be able to draw a line. And for me, I'm drawing a line. I urge your I vote. Thank you, Senator Eggman. Senator Wynn. See, <laughs> it's over with. She she basically quit. She said, I, I'm done, all right? Because she's seen so much wickedness, okay? On a, on a high level of law, okay? This is where laws are passed, okay? So I want to get a couple of scriptures, man, you know? We're going to go to the book of Tobit. Hey, because... Uh, this is lewdness. And what does lewdness bring? And we're starting to see famine approach. All right? There's, they're closing all kind of restaurants. All right? It's approaching. All right? There was a video I saw of an a Edomite woman saying how, how many restaurants will be closed by the end of 2024. Okay? So that famine is approaching. And the reason for the famine approaching is because of the lewdness. All right? Now, this is the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 13. It says, Now, therefore, my son, love thy brethren, and despise not in thy heart thy brethren, the sons and daughters of thy people. You know? And people, you know, uh, uh, say, we, we, we don't love our... We, the reason... <clears throat> 
Let me get this out right. I'm a little excited. Um, you know, they say we hate our people, this, that, and the third. <clears throat> no, we love our people by the works that we do. All right? It's a, it's, this is, what we're doing is a labor of love. All right? To show you the right way. Okay? You don't, it, you, you don't, you don't get, it don't get no better than uh, more love, more loving than out there on the highways and byways uh, looking foolish, all right, trying to wake up uh, the Lord's people, all right, or, or delivering the Lord's message to his people when majority of them fan their hand and they despise the word, okay? So that's a major uh, labor of love, all right? It says, and not taking a wife of them, all right? For in pride is destruction. This is the point I wanted from the scripture. For in pride is for in pride is destruction and much trouble. And in lewdness is decay. All right? Look at these major cities here in California. Apostle Gabar did a video on downtown uh LA being for sale. It's for lease. Because there's there's it's decayed. All right. This place is, is decayed, man. It says, and in lewdness is decay and great want. All right? For lewdness is the mother of famine. And uh, uh, going back to these two videos, the uh, SEX trafficking and the, the whole Senate knowing of what's going on and they not passing laws to uh, lock these people up, but they'll lock you up. Uh, uh, you know, they'll lock Jacob for, for, for decades for something, you know, a drug charge. Okay? But you got you got these people getting caught trafficking uh minor 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 uh young girls, man. We talking 12, 13 years old, 14 years old. They getting, like she said, they caught continually and, and just may spend two days in jail and be right back at it and doing it some more. So it's a crooked ass system. It's broken. Okay. You, know, you never, since 2020, we would never see no, no sentence. I, I done seen many C-SPANs. To where they in there at each other's throat, arguing. This is this is this is showing that there's a divide. All right, Satan is divided, as Yahweh Shai said. Okay, how can they, how can the house stand? Okay, when the people that's passing the laws aren't together, how can this place stand? It, it can't. All right, it's on its way out. Now. We're going to skip to the 14th chapter, all right, because this place, just like uh, told, told his son Tobias here in the 14th chapter to, to get up out of here because he said the words of the prophet Jonas shall surely come to pass, all right, meaning um, at the time when Jonah prophesied at Nineveh and he told him that it was going to be destroyed, it didn't happen until about 300 years later, okay? <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, roughly paraphrasing about three, 300 maybe. <clears throat> but the point is, it, it, the iniquity had came to the full and the Lord had got tired of it in the words of uh, Jonah from the Most High, the, prophets, the prophecy came to pass and the Lord destroyed that place, okay? So this is the Tobit 4 and 13. And now my son depart out of Nineveh because that those things which the prophet Jonah spake shall surely come to pass. And when you go to the book of Jonah, uh, when he when he got, when he was spit on the shores and he got to the uh, shores of Nineveh, okay, he got to the city of Nineveh, he prophesied of destruction, okay? And that's, what happened? Okay. This is Tobit telling his son Tobias 
look, the words are surely going to come to pass. And it did. All right. It just had to have uh, come to that full iniquity. OK. Matter of fact, Yahweh said this as well. In the book of Matthew. Twenty three. But he was talking to the wicked scribe and Pharisees. All right. He told them to fill fill up. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Yep. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. And Yahweh was cussing out them wicked scribe and Pharisees. Okay. Because, you know, dealing with them killing the prophets. And this is them. He was saying, y'all going to fill up the measure of what your fathers did. You're going to do exactly what your fathers did, which was kill the prophets. All right. But the point being of me bringing this scripture out is because you want the uh, Esau. All right. He's filling up his measure, his iniquity. All right. And it's just about to uh, spill over to where the Lord is about to judge him. And two thirds of his people that refuse to repent and come out of his, uh, his system spiritually. All right. Um, I got one more. The book of Job. Job fourteen. Um. Yep. Job fourteen and five. Okay. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. All right? Who's, whose days are determined? Esau's. His system. All right? The number of his months are with the Most High. And believe you me, with the signs and the prophecies popping off the way they are, it's not, we don't have much long of this man ruling over us. Okay? It's not going to be long. Because once things start happening, things are going to move quick. Things are going to be violent. Things are going to be terrible. But for the elect, things are uh, uh, going to be uh, moving uh, uh, in, in a, for lack of a better word, righteous manner. Deliverances, miracles, power, all right? Kept alive in famine, okay? In famine, we're we going we gonna to be well taken care of, all right? While the rest of these people out here are, are starving. All right, because of the lewdness. Okay. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. And with this type of information being brought out at a, at a Senate uh, meeting of, of, a, of a, a province of Babylon the Great, shows the divide. All right. And that it's over with. Okay. And if it's happening here, it's happening in New York. It's happening in Chicago, okay? It's happening in Texas. It's happening everywhere, all right? You know, you had that movie that came out, uh, I think it was back in 2023 or 2022, uh, Sound of Freedom, that was exposing the trafficking that's happening worldwide, and, and California is a major hub for this, for that, for, for Esau trafficking, uh, you know, child sacrifice, child sex slaves, all that, man. Okay? Lewdness. Immoral. Okay? This place is full of dogma. Matter of fact, let's look that word dogma up. Okay? You had that uh, book by Albert Pike. I'm sorry. Called Morals and Dogma. Okay? And this is what this... Uh, Uh, society is set on, all right, dogma. It says, a settled opinion, a principle held as being firmly established, all right, the uh, the allowing of, of, of sex trafficking of, of minors, all right, it's been happening. And for her tenure, 12-year tenure, she, she tired of seeing it so, so much to where she quit, all right? She ain't the only woman on this uh, that, that had a say complaining about it, or the only Senate, okay? Oh, so, so I get it. Um, it says, philosophical tenet, opinion tenet, 
literally that which one thinks is true to seem good all right to take accept all right and it's been accepted in Babylon throughout all of Babylon this is why you got the tunnels underground all right you got all these trafficking survivors that's coming out speaking now all right not just women though you got uh uh you had young young men young boys who were trafficked and turned into uh uh uh, uh sex slaves okay apostle Tahar was uh going into how they used to turn uh uh, uh sold boys for harlots all right during slavery and it, it never stopped it's still been going on okay but it's just been under wraps and they they, they created laws to protect these higher ups all right that have been getting away with it that's all right so yeah that was it just some quick i just wanted to you know Bring this out. This is just another sure sign that Babylon the Great is falling and is falling and the house is divided. All right. It's divided. It's done. All right. Yahweh Shai, let me get that. Okay. Satan be divided. Okay. Matthew 11 and 8. I mean, it's Luke 11 and 18. If Satan also be divided against himself, now shall, how shall his kingdom stand? All right? If you got senators that's blowing the, you know, blowing the whistle, so to speak, and, and on the corruptness that's going on within the Senate, the different parties, okay, how, how can this place stand? It's not. All right? It's about to fall, and it's going to fall hard. Like it tells us in Revelation, the 18th chapter, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. And, it, and California is a major hub to push off wickedness, not only on Babylon the Great, but the whole world, okay? The whole world. This is the, the magic wand of Esau, is, is, is California. This is the Hollywood, the, the, you know? You, we've all heard the weird stories about Hollywood, what goes on in them Hollywood hills at the mansion parties. We've all heard about that. Okay? So this man is exposed. He's done. All right? And on his way out. So let me read that again. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. So basically, Yahweh Shai was saying, I'm going to read this one. Uh, Mark 3 and 26. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but have an end. And we see this man's end coming. It's right here at the door. All right? Every week is something different. Something else being exposed about the wicked, corrupt uh, society that we live in. And the corrupt, the corruptness is coming from the own the uh the government. All right? As is the uh, king, so are the people, all right? So they pushing a wicked vibration out here, not just trafficking, but all kind of wicked, immor immoral lewdness that's going to lead to the famine and ultimately the destruction of all of Babylon the Great. So giving all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Lord, well, this was edifying to the hopeful elect. If I remember, I'll place these uh, links in the description box if you want to go check these two videos out. Shalom.